Honorable judges, dear ladies and gentlemen, let's take a moment to think back on the events of 2020 to 2022. Lockdowns, social distancing, mask requirements, vaccination campaigns, and surviving a virus that not only impacted our physical health, but also our mental well-being, probably have been at the forefront of each of our minds. Some interesting research conducted by the Association of Psychiatrists came up with some alarming findings. They discovered that a startling 60% of the respondents whose ages range from 14 to 71 reported feeling depressed and anxious during the challenging moments. It only further demonstrates that the pandemic has affected our mental health regardless of age. From Mantiga Peka Makassar, I'm Ratu Aulia Rahma. Today, I want to focus on a particular issue. How the pandemic has affected the mental health of our younger generation. Why? Because it is crucial to prevent the negative things of the epidemic on future leaders who are represented by the young generation from burdening their mental health. Honorable judges, the ladies and gentlemen, when the pandemic first came out, we didn't think it would affect so much, right? As a student, I vividly remember my excitement when we were told about a two-week holiday. I had planned movies I wanted to watch, imagine lazy days in my bed, enjoying my favorite tunes, and even set aside time to indulge in my bookish hobbies. Oh, it felt like a paradise in my mind. But as the weeks went by, the length of the break suddenly increased to three months. This extension was still bearable up until it went on forever, forcing us to switch to early online classes. We were even forced to wear masks all the time, unable to go outside. And the idea of a vacation started to grow boring to me. And also, before the pandemic, we used to enjoy running into so many kind people throughout our day. But when the pandemic hit us really hard, it was extremely unexpected that we needed to stay at home all the time. Nearly all of our daily activities have moved online and it made sense if we got tired of the same old pattern, which finally resulted in feelings of boredom and stress. Sadly, for some of us, the pandemic also triggered anxiety and depression. Therefore, it is important to recognize that these effects persist even, if, even after the pandemic has ended. We can't simply overlook this matter, so what measures should we undertake? Well, honorable judges, dear ladies and gentlemen, the road starts with self-care, a notion that is sometimes overlooked but actually has the power to have a big impact on our, on our mental health. The, the method of self-care used by each person varies and is unique. It demands a deliberate approach, including paying attention to our physical surroundings and engaging in uplifting activities. Also, try to communicate your emotion as well. Because I am sure that the act of expressing our feelings will bring such a huge sense of relief. And Sharing our emotions takes courage, but doing so demonstrates how we value ourselves. Therefore, I am convinced that we are capable for overcoming these difficulties the pandemic has brought about. Believe in ourselves all depends on us. Don't let a two-year-old incident hold us back from moving forward because it's time for us to move past it. Thank you.